We were told to write a letter to our future selves that we would get back senior year. Dear future me. I mean, at the time, I was like, I'm going to be opening this when I'm graduating. That's so far away. I'm so young right now. So in sixth grade, I was very timid, and I was really insecure. As a sixth grader, I was a girl who was just trying to find herself. Yeah, I was a little weird. I had big teeth, but I did have a lot of confidence. I don't know why. <laughs> I must have imagined by the time I was a senior in high school, I would be like someone who knew so much about the world, which is not true at all. So in your desk is the letter that you wrote? Should I open it? I've been looking forward to this for literally six years, so. I knew I, I did put money in it. <laughs> I got 20 bucks. I got little coupons. I don't know if these expire. Wow, <laughs> I look different. Okay. Oh, wow. So I first wrapped it in a separate piece of paper, and it says, this letter is for Caitlin Hewitt's eyes only. Do not open until 2020. Well, sixth grade Juliet, it is 2020. OK, here it goes. Dear Aiden. Hey, future Jackie. Dear future Oriane. <laughs> Dear Armand in the future, remember me from sixth grade? It's you. <laughs> It has been a long time and you probably forgot you even wrote this letter. Because I did. I don't remember writing this. How was your life? Are all my friends doing well? Are you still friends with William, Riley, Cece, Ellie, and Hannah? I'm not. Anyways, this year has had its up and downs. Let me fill you in. Mom and Dad got divorced. I have a few questions for you. How are politics? Who is the president? Oh, boy. Do we now run on electrical, solar-powered cars? Did we ever get a Chromebook? Say yes. Yes, we did get a Chromebook. Don't worry, we did. Anyways, middle school was pretty fun. I met so many new friends. I started playing lacrosse. Tennis, track, gymnastics. Karate, basketball sports. Did we ever give up or not? We did. We did. Are you still a slow reader? I read really slowly because I get distracted so easily when I read or take a test or do my homework. Yeah, I get distracted really easily. But now I know that I have like ADHD and stuff. It wasn't just me. Wow, there's so many like little notes here, like little side comments and everything. And it says, I really hope that we haven't given up on our hope to marry. Oh dear, no. Um. Let's just say I got over this crush. <laughs> Did you actually lose weight and look good and hot in seventh grade? Cause that's my goal. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's really intense. <laughs> Who is your girlfriend? Um, I actually have a boyfriend now. How is your last year of high school going? Do I get my license? Do I go to prom? Unfortunately, I do not get prom this year because of the coronavirus. Did and are you doing good in school? Have you applied to any colleges? You better have graduated. You better go to an Ivy League college. It would be better to be Stanford, Harvard, or Duke. Yeah, that, that didn't happen. All the goals I have for you, get a nice car, get a job as a computer engineer. Follow your dreams of becoming an artist. Anyways, I can't wait to read this in 2020. Well, this is all I got to say. Bye from Armand 2014. From past Aiden. Until then, Juliet, 14. Smiley face in orange marker. So what's your, what's your first response to this? It's very thorough. It's a lot of information. I had a lot of questions, but it's very me. I was very young. <laughs> I was a person who really wanted to plan everything out, but I learned that there are many steps into 
figuring out who you are. And little Jackie did not know that. <laughs> I think I know myself a lot better now because he was just asking questions like, who is your girlfriend? I mean, I would have thought that at that age, I'd be like too scared to mention stuff like that. Because now there are so many middle schoolers that seem like openly gay. Um, but when I was there six years ago, there was no one. But yeah, I think he'd be happy with how he turned out. That must be a good feeling. Yeah, I'm, I'm proud of that. <sighs> like, it opened up a lot of things that I felt that I completely forgot about. I really hated the person that I was in sixth grade. I didn't like the way my nose looked. I didn't like my skin. I didn't like my body. I even told myself, I don't want to be black anymore. And I hated myself for it. And that's why probably she was so intense in that letter because she's like, I need you to change. But myself now is telling her definitely, no, like you're perfect the way you are. Uh, that was something else. It's like watching a kid grow up in like one second. By opening this letter, I'm realizing how much things can change. Like, I'm, I don't want to be a computer engineer, and my Ivy League school is not where I'm going, so. But yeah, you got me a $20 bill. <laughs> Dude, the fact that six years ago, Armand just bought myself lunch. Dude, I love that kid. Yeah, I, I've changed a lot. I mean, my parents' divorce was really difficult on me, but I'm sorry, I'm like tearing up, but um, looking back at it now, six years later, I know it was not the end of the world and that it's made me a pretty strong woman because of it. I just realized, I mean, you never know when everything is just gonna turn upside down and not be the way you wanted it to be. I mean, I never would have thought I wasn't gonna have senior prom and graduation and walk across the stage and get that final moment with my teachers, but I'm proud of who I am now, and I think that sixth grade me would be proud of myself too.